What is up guys, good old fashioned cola, back here for some more Animal Crossing City Folk. Today in Ohio, it is April 27th at 8.01am, let's get this stuff started. So today, uh, is a perfect opportunity to begin attempting to catch a certain type of fish that you usually wouldn't be able to catch. But since it's raining, and it's so early in the morning that there's not really going to be anything going on, I'm going to kind of devote our time here today to attempting to get him. Now, I don't remember how large his shadow is in this game. And I'm hoping I can catch fish on minimal volume with minimal concentration. Oh, I wanted to press there. Red snapper, fucking nice. I hope we have already donated them, but I'm sure... Sure, we have not donated a red snapper. So, first order of business, this is not just going to be me catching fish. There's going to be going to be some talking points because last night I went and saw Frank Iero for the third time in my life. And third time's the charm. It was fucking fun as shit. Definitely nothing will ever be the second time I saw him where the venue I saw him is in Cleveland Heights and it's like a small small bar venue it's called the Grog Shop if anybody has ever been to it around here uh, but I absolutely love the Grog Shop it's definitely my favorite venue of the the greater Cleveland area but it was the the final day of his tour and shit got so crazy I ended up on stage dancing with Frank Iero, and it was fantastic. I loved it. But last night, last night the crowd could have been better. Like, nobody wanted to move around, so me and Shelly just kind of, like, inched our way up pretty much. Like, we, we showed up, and we were pretty much in the back, and by the time it was over, we were probably, I'd say, like, fifth row. And then, at one point, he was, it was like right when he came out, like a couple songs after. You know how like like musicians play like like two or three songs and then they start bantering with the crowd? That's what he did. And uh, he was like, it's been a while since we were last here. And then somebody was like, yeah, it's been like two years. And then I yelled out, "It's the final." it was the final date of the tour. Because it was. And he was like, what was that? And I was like, it was the final date of the tour. And then he was like, oh yeah, I love Cleveland. And he just started going on like this huge thing about how great Cleveland is. I think I have a video of it. I don't, I don't know. But I have a shit ton of videos. So, Future Gabe, if you remember, please place a fucking uh, sample of Frank in this video. Damn it, I thought that was going to be our fish. We'll give it to Wendell. Sup, my dude. Gurgle burgle. Tough it out. <laughs> no, not a fucking shovel. Uh. Yes, I still want it. Oh, that's a weird Pelly design. I forgot he gave us that. Horizontal track. What is that? Oh wow. Uh ugh, I'm very burpy today. That could be something nice, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for gold here. Something I've noticed, uh my original Animal Crossing videos get way more views than City Folk. City Folk hasn't really taken off as much as I thought it would have. Any particular particular reason for that? Not an analytics type of guy. I know that's not analytics, but I just thought saying that would be funny, but I realized it wasn't. I try. I try very hard. Uh, but every single time I go to a Frank Iero show, well, him specifically, but every time I go to a show, it makes me realize how much more I want to be in a band. And how much I'll never be in a band. I know, like, 
a bunch of contacts because of my old uh, musician teacher. Like, there's a bunch of people that need a bassist and guitarist, and I could do both, but I'm just too nervous to talk to people, so I'll probably never, I'll probably never ever be in a band, at least anything serious. I guess, I mean, if I'm too nervous to talk to my bandmates, then I'm probably too nervous to play in front of people. I remember I wouldn't play in front of Shelly for the longest time. So yeah, it's probably for the best that I'm not in a band. I just realized that. Oh, damn it. Do we really have to... We might have to go to the house. Maybe Nook is open. I don't think so. But I want to catch this fish before we do anything. So, NBA playoffs update. Cavaliers move on to the second round. They're the first team to, to punch their ticket, sweeping the Pacers. While some of those games I was like, ugh, like really worrying. I caught a dab. I dabbed when I did that. Yes, release the horse mackerel. Oh shit, I just remembered I bought Rare Replay yesterday. That was. I, I wrote down a bunch of lists of talking points, like I always do, uh, but my coworker was talking about ukulele, and I was like, fuck, I really want to play banjo. So then I went out and bought Rare Replay, <laughs> because, damn, I loved Banjo-Kazooie as a kid so much. Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie were so fucking good. Are you open? Holy guacamole, he's open. Tom, have I ever told you you're the real MVP? Oh, should we buy the water bird? He evolves into Pelostorm. We're gonna do that, and that, and that, and I don't know anything else that we have yet to donate, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there. What was I talking about? Ah, oh, shit, it was really important. Did I finish it? Oh my god, I'm so fucking scatterbrained all the time. Uh, but anyways, I started to, to uh, I started to talk about this last episode, but then I got sidetracked like I always do. But I'm a gigantic fan of Rick and Morty, and it took me fucking forever to watch uh, the season 3 uh, premiere. But holy shit, I love Rick and Morty so much. I'm probably just going to watch the first two seasons again because I love it so much. Rick and Morty is like... Like, I loved South Park growing up, and I have seen every single South Park episode. I mean, I know I've seen every Rick and Morty episode, but if it keeps going as long as South Park is going, I'll watch every single episode. That's how much I love Rick and Morty. I think Bob's Burgers is like that too for me. I love Bob. I love Bob's. Oh, I'm feeling a sneeze. Ugh. I think today I might record Rocksmith if I can. I haven't played my electric guitar in forever, and I busted that thing out the other day, and I forgot how much fucking fun it is. So maybe I will attempt to record some Rocksmith. I'm thinking so long as I... Ugh. Ugh. I'm thinking so long as I play on the, uh, the, like, no chord mode or whatever. I, I don't know. It has a name. It's not using the chord that came with the game. It's like playing off of an amp. And just having the track go on the screen. I'm, I'm thinking so long as I play on that kind of a mode, then I will be able to record at the same time. What's up, Koala? Sydney. I never talk to any of the fucking villagers, I swear. I'm always just in my own little world. But they should know that. My friends in real life know that. That I never... 
Yeah, I could probably like go at least like a month. Well, probably even longer without talking to anybody. I'm not a talker, regardless of what these videos show. Another thing I can talk about, I guess, is I've attempted to start getting back into Skyrim again. A Skyrim LP seems like on paper I would love it, but I feel like I would never like Skyrim ever again if I ever did that. I don't know. Thanks for going off, phone. I appreciate it. Damn it. I always fuck up on that last hit for some reason. Now this is going to be a little bit of an ordeal, I'm sorry. Also, I'm sorry about uh, the music reviews and shit not really happening. I started that Tumblr to do that, and then I just got into Tumblr. <laughs> like, I found out that Tumblr is not as bad as I once thought it was, and that there is some good to that website, and I was like, holy shit, this is fucking funny. There, I follow, like, I work at a library, so I follow, like, library worker shit. I don't know how else to describe it, uh, but there was one if I can find it and put it on screen I'll do it I don't know if the whole thing is in a gif or if I can just find the gif itself but it was like me when a customer uh, wants help but it's the end of my shift because I don't know if it's the same for all libraries but it, at least for our library uh, once it hits five o'clock on Friday Saturday or nine o'clock any other day aside from Sunday uh, that's it, you don't get paid no more. So, you don't want to be there. So, 99% of the time, you look at the customer and you go, Sorry, we're closed. Or, Sorry, I'm out. Yeah, after your shift, or at the, end of the, at, at the end of the day, you're not making any money. So, eh. Is Jeremiah in the town? In the town? I thought he was new. <sighs> Alrighty, guys. So, uh, should we keep going? I man, we gotta go. We gotta keep going. But I just, I'm running out of talking points. But I want to catch that fish. Tis the fucking troubles of Animal Crossing. There's not a lot going on. Uh, there's not a lot going on in my life. Uh, we'll just check the fossils, I guess, for right now. Maybe, maybe they'll already be donated, and we can get rid of them, and then that opens up like three, three or four spots. Apto torso. I will say I have class today, and I don't want to fucking go uh, at all. I started out the school semester just like so gung-ho about going back and like I was like man audio radio this is gonna be so much fun and it was and now I'm just like holy shit I'm so done I just want to be done and I'm pretty sure it's because I'm going to Niagara Falls in about like a little under a month so I'm just like it's like a week after we get out so I'm just like looking right at that and I'm just like holy shit vacation no more schoolwork I can just like not worry about anything for a couple months because with my job I just walk in I do my job and then I fucking go home and I don't have to worry about anything oh cool we completed something but that's pretty much what I've always wanted in a job I uh, my dad has always oh damn it my dad has always been this guy that always brings his work home with him and I've watched that and it just does not <laughs> no why would you ever do that to a person I knew it well at least we've got 3,000 bells coming our way 
Uh, I'm gonna run in the fish room and see what we actually have donated. Considering we only have ocean fish in our pocket, I can just run right to the back. Is that a dab? No, that's an olive flounder, I think. Horse mackerel, red snapper, dab, squid, octopus. Of course we already have everything. <laughs> right? Is that everything? Yep. Alright, so we can run right to Tom and then right back down to the ocean. I am sweating. It's very hot in my room. It's like 80 degrees in Ohio right now. It's like nice. Very nice for April. Which depresses the 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 tree hugger in me. But also the I fucking hate the cold and snow in me is like hell yeah. Well I don't hate the cold. And I don't really hate the snow. Just after like two months, I'm like, okay, can we be done? But then there's like another two months where it's still cold and snow and you're like, holy shit. Like after like a super long hot summer Winter is much needed, and thanks to global warming, uh, winter has been very tolerable here recently, but still, I like summer over winter, mostly because then you can go out and do things. With winter, you just kind of sit inside all day, which I'm not really feeling. Not really feeling. Back to the fishing. Hopefully, I'm gonna do one sweep, and if we don't find them, then I'm just saying whatever. Because Rocksmith is beckoning my name. Please, for the love of Animal Crossing Jeebus. Damn it! You asshat. Where are they? Get out of here. You don't deserve a fucking pocket spot. <sighs> Waking up too damn early. I don't know if anybody was here for the OG... Well, I'm sure if you guys are watching this one, then you watch the OG one. Uh, but, do you guys remember how early I used to wake up? I used to wake up at like 6.30 and start recording. Like, I'd jump right out of bed and just be like, Hey guys! Now, it's fucking... I used to record so much back in the day. Which is weird, because I never got any attention, and now that my videos get somewhat attention, now I never record. It's a vicious cycle. I have a lot of, like, funny videos that I, I, they probably need edited to be really, like, usable. Like, they need some minor editing. But I'm just so lazy. That cough was perfect with that fucking, f that sentence. Okay, I was going to say, if that little one goes for it, I'm going to be pissed. I'm not even going to attempt to dab again. I'm too old for that. Oh, yesterday, Frank Iero's opener started talking about how, like, the younger generation has a good taste in music and, like, don't let the old people tell you that... Like, he was an older guy himself, but he was like, don't let the... The old people tell you that your music taste isn't good. You guys have good taste. And then I looked at Shelly and I was like, wait a second. Are we the old people or the young people? Because pretty much everybody there was like 13. And I was like, I am not grouped in with these people. Like There was a lot of young people there. And I was like, I am 20. Hello. It's like, I like My Chemical Romance. I like that MCR has that kind of a staying power, though. That's what tells you. I th I fully believe, out of all, like, the... I know 
MCR themselves don't like the emo label, but I do group them in with that type of music. Be they were like founding fathers for that shit, at least in like the 2000s revival of it. Uh, but I'm gonna keep going with fishing until I run out of this talking point. Uh, but I would definitely consider them the best band uh, out of that genre of like emo punk. I had not listened to pretty much like any band like MCR, Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy. It was like 2013 when I first started listening to everybody. Like that was when, like I had always loved music, but I was more into like, I've been weird. I started out, one of my first favorite bands was Nirvana, then Green Day. Uh, who else did I love? I liked a lot of like grunge bands. So like Alice in Chains I liked, Pearl Jam, and I grew up on R.E.M., so I love R.E.M. U2, I love U2. The Cure, but I didn't start liking The Cure until later, but I did grow up on them. Uh, the Beatles, I love The Beatles. And like, a bunch of classic rock like Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, uh, CCR. Oh, Guns N' Roses, a bunch of hair metal, that's my mom, U2 and R.E.M. is my dad, but, uh, but it wasn't until, like, later, middle school, I started to form, like, that edgy fucking taste in music, like Papa Roach, Three Days Grace, Slipknot, like, I started to, like, heavier acts, and it wasn't until... I think it was ninth grade I got into rap, like Kid Cudi, Kanye, and and stuff like that, but I'm not really like that big into rap. Just a couple acts like that. I like Drake a lot, and Frank Ocean. Oh, how could we forget Anderson Pack, Fucking Grammy-nominated artist. I don't remember if he won or not. If he didn't, goddamn, he got robbed. Uh, so none of the fish are disappearing, but I still have got talking points, so we're gonna go into our house and put some of this shit down. Ugh. I have no idea how long this video is, and I'm sure if it gets too long, no one's gonna watch it. 22.49. Okay. Uh, we really need to start paying off our fucking house, because I don't have the room to be placing oh, a lot of shit in here anymore. I really just... I want this, and I don't know what this is. I think it's that, like, creepy looking thing. But we are not gonna put it in this big old mess. But it wasn't until, like, my sophomore year of high school that I started getting into bands like, like the shit that I listen to now. And then I think it was, like, uh, junior or senior year. I started getting into more like indie rock acts, but after that it was just game over. Remodeling, thank god. Thank you, Tom. Alright, let's sell this last little bit, and then we will be done for the day. Only a thousand bells, you cheap ass. Alright guys, I'm Good Old Fashioned Cola, and I will see you back here next time.